everyone, and welcome to the second video on my channel. This is LDS Moms with YT, and today I'm going to be showcasing a very interesting contraption that I've created. So, if you've ever watched a Minecraft video, you know what an SMP is, and if you know what an SMP is, you know what a shopping district is. So, in a shopping district, you'll have different shops and things like that that have chests full of items you may need, but they also have prices such as deep slate for a diamond for a stack. Well, how, how these generally work is you open the chest, you take out your item, you put in the diamond or whatever payment you need back in its place, and then you're done. Simple, right? But simple is so boring. There's a lot better we can do than just a simple chest. So because of that, I decided to create this. This is the vending machine. There are many models out there, such as one that Mumbo Jumbo made maybe five years ago. But this one is unique in the sense that you can customize how many items you want it to spit out per diamond using this dropper. Right now, it'll spit out four items per diamond. So let's give you a demonstration right now. Diamonds in. Nothing in the barrel, and then go. Two, three, four, and then it pulls out another diamond. One, two, three, four, another diamond. And so the beauty of this system is the fact that you can pull out your diamonds at any time and stop the machine um, after the final diamond that was inputted what is finished. It will not continue as long as there is um, no diamonds in there. So with, the more diamonds you put in, the longer this takes, but that's okay because um, there's ways you can speed it up that I'll cover later in the video. Um, so for this tutorial, I will be splitting into four parts. I will start with the brain, go to the vending part, the item filtration system, and finally the activation. So basically in, re in near reverse order of how it activates. So, to start off, we've got the brain of the machine. This is a three by three by three with a few extra bits on two of the sides. So, these are the only types of materials you'll need, not the grass block. Um, but yeah. So, to start off, we're going to need to place two repeaters right here. Then, you're going to need to place a solid block here and here. One redstone dust like so, and one like so. It's very important that you get the orientation of these correct, because otherwise it's not going to work. And not only that, it'll like actually break. So, then you need a solid block here, and a solid block here. You'll also need a... Um, you'll need a repeater here, and on top of these you'll need, or on top of this, you'll need a solid block. Then you'll put in your dropper, your comparator, and the hoppers go in like so. One into there, one into there, and one into there. So this, this right here, these four items are the basic brain of the system. So anyway, to continue, you'll need a, knock, a block there and a compare there, sorry. And from there, you need a solid block here, solid block here, here, and here. Dust there, and in an observer um, other way right here a dust on top and then that is the brain oh take there this is the entire brain of the system so look I'll show you you put in an item or of any type and of any amount I'll just use 12 cobble deep slate. You put it in, and 
it it pulses this block right here 12 times. So yeah, it's pretty neat. And the other important part is the fact that this locks this locks the repeater on the odd pulses, meaning when it's turned off, so that it always stays on during the sequence and during the sequence only, meaning that they the items will pile up in this hopper as they exit this hopper until there are no more coming through this hopper, and then they will all flow back into the dropper. So yeah, that is part one of this tutorial. So for the second part of this build, you will need these items. Um, a barrel, a redstone repeater, block of redstone, observer, dropper, sticky piston, redstone torch, redstone comparator, and your building block of choice. So with this section of the build, this is the bending portion. This is what controls or turns the pulses into um, items added into the barrel and the barrel itself. Um, so in this build, I used a target block. That was actually from a previous um, part of the build that I had had since removed because it was unnecessary and did not work as efficiently as it could have. So that target block right there does not need to be in the build. That one does. And that one does, but not this one. So for this portion, we're gonna start off with putting a sticky piston right here with a block of redstone attached to it. You then need to put a, a building block here. Um, and from there, all you really need is here a dropper here a dropper there barrel here and then uh, yes observer there block here um then what you'll need is um this also includes the fail safe so you'll need a stone club or a comparator with pushing into a block, um, a redstone torch, and a sticky piston there, block there, or redstone block there, and pick a repeater here. And I believe that is all. So yeah, that is the vending portion of this machine. All right, for the third portion of this build, we are going to need all of these materials so the this is the item filtration and collection system so for the top we'll need a barrel or a shulker box hoppers in the middle and then a chest or chests or shulker boxes or anything so to start we're going to put our chest or even double chests or whatever down here a hopper and then three temporary blocks, a hopper here, like so, like so, and like so. And then what we're gonna need is our redstone torch, comparator, repeater, dust, um, of course our block, and then our target block. Oh, and also we'll need the barrel top. That's kind of important. So yeah. Um, what we'll want is to put our solid block here, um, and another block coming out like this, comparator, um, another solid block, solid block, um, solid block, and solid block, take that one out, put this here, Action up right here, another one here, and then like so. This is the frame of our um of our filtration system. So you put redstone dust here, comparator, redstone torch, dust, 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 color block. And that is the entire filtration system. All we need now is a filtration block, I'm going to use hanging roots. Five here, 
in each slot and then two here and then yeah if you put in diamonds or whatever your currency is in the barrel they'll now go down though they're not going to stay there until we have the final portion added so yeah that is the completed third section so this next portion of the build is the most complicated one so pay close attention so what we're going, going to want to do is start out with a target block, a comparator, a piston, and a, a pool block. So out of this block, you need to put a comparator which reads the signal from this one. Um, and then you put that into this pool block, sticky piston, target block. And yeah, that's it. From there, you go over here let me first put this row out these items and then you'll want redstone torch redstone repeater note block server leaves log redstone block building block sticky piston so you want to put your redstone torch there two blocks here or not block there sticky piston full block and then you'll want another block here and here a block here a block there repeater there block there and what this does is it works with the or this section right here it works with the um hopper to um, let this hopper read um, be read by this hopper or this hopper be read by the or to be stopped and yeah so basically um, from here you need to go um, no no block or actually no yes no block no block actually no not anymore I changed the time but oh well we're gonna have it anyway it sounds nice we're gonna put a piston there redstone block there sticky piston there um observer this way sticky piston log spruce spruce lead or any leaves really um observer note block and that is the second portion of this fourth portion so yeah from here what you want is a solid or actually no this block does not need to be solid um you want to put an observer there or sorry a comparator there a porch there another block here and a block here and yes this is the locking mechanism so if I were to put in a diamond now, oops, it wouldn't, it, it'll stay, even though the both, and then if I, so then what you need is the locking mechanism. So I will put a, just a temporary block there. Perfect. And then, yes. And that should be it. Um, yeah. Oh, and tick. Alright, so now that I've gotten the tutorial out of the way, let me just show you some interesting features to make this more efficient. So, with this system, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if you want to sell items in bulk, the easiest way is to take this dropper, put one item in, and then take this dropper and fill it with shulk boxes, whatever you want to sell, in this case dirt. Because since this is like a vending machine, you can only put in so much, um, and you can't really program this very easily to, without changing the entire design, to do take more than one diamond as currency. So this is more for a shop that sells things um, that are valuable, but one diamond per, or one diamond for a few, or whatever. So the other fun thing with this system is if you take the 
um, system and add note blocks. So these note blocks can be added at any stage of the process. So right, I have it added in three places. One, when it sucks up an item. Two, when it throws an item into the barrel. And three, when it finishes throwing all the items into the barrel. So here, let's see what it sounds like. That is going to be it for today. This is LD of Samosas, and I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Um, if you did like the video, please be sure to like it and subscribe if you want. It's, I mean, I'm going to be coming out with more redstone builds and more maybe regular builds. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, be sure to let me know. So, thank you. And with that, peace.